So this video is going to be addressing a problem with NVIDIA Shadowplay. If you're wondering what Shadowplay is, it's basically fraps for people with NVIDIA graphics cards, GeForce 600 or newer, and it's also free. The other uh, benefits is that it doesn't have the gigantic file sizes of fraps, and it's also free. So um, let's just move right into the problem, and that is, for some reason, Shadowplay adds time to a recording. And I am still trying to figure out how this is possible. I personally have no idea how it is. So if anybody knows and they could tell me, that would be great. But it's a big enough problem that I can't actually use Shadowplay because it messes up everything. So here I have a sample recorded. And I have Hearthstone. Now this is, I think, about a 30 second long uh, clip. So I just recorded Hearthstone... Uh, you know, you can view it up here. I recorded the cinematic, and how I did this was that I had Hearthstone set at the same setting, so it was the highest, you know, quality and everything else. I had Fraps and NVIDIA Shadowplay both record at 1080p at 60 frames per second, and I kept all the other settings that I could change the same, so I tried my best to minimize variables. There's a cinematic button inside the options menu in Hearthstone, and as soon as I click that button is the exact time that I hit record on Fraps, and also the exact time that I hit record on NVIDIA Shadowplay. So I started recording at the same time, and I also stopped my recording at the same time, because I had a timer running for about 30 seconds, and once that 30 second was hit on the timer, I stopped recording for Fraps, and I stopped recording for Shadowplay. So I did my best to minimize variables. There's probably a margin of error within a couple of milliseconds, but, you know, who cares about that? So, as you'll see here, when I scrub through it, this top one, first of all, is Fraps, right here. This, uh, this video is Fraps, and you can see this because Fraps records an AVI file, so .avi, that's Fraps. Shadowplay records an MP4 files, .mp4, that's Shadowplay. So this top one is Fraps, this bottom one is Shadowplay. Now, if I scrub through this, you'll see that Fraps is a little bit ahead of Shadowplay. Anything, let me click off of this so it's faster, anything that happens for Fraps takes a little bit longer to happen in Shadowplay, and it it's a lot more apparent the longer you get. Like, the shorter the video, the less obvious that this is. But you can see here, you see the dwarf's face and I move on, and it switches to the table before Shadowplay does. So NVIDIA, for some reason, is playing faster than Fraps is, and this this will happen in any editor. Right now I'm using Adobe CS6, this will happen in Windows Movie Maker, Virtual Dub, I tried all of these, and even the raw file of Shadowplay is longer than Fraps. So for some reason, Shadowplay takes longer than Fraps does. For some, Somehow it's adding time. I don't know where it is, but like here, you can see the words show up on Fraps before they even do on Shadowplay. So by uh, the longer that the video is, the more apparent this becomes. Right here's a recording of Half-Life. This one's a little bit less uh, variable controlled, but I did my best. I recorded both of them for two minutes. So I just recorded two minute clips for both Shadowplay and both Fraps. And yet this top one, which again, this top one, that's the, that's the uh, title. Anyway, this top one, as you can see, .avi, top video, Fraps. Bottom one, .mp4. This is Shadowplay. Shadowplay, Shadowplay, uh, whoops, title, uh, Fraps, Fraps. Okay, so this top one, which is Fraps, I recorded for two minutes, and you can see there in the duration of the work area bar, it would stop disappearing, two minutes. Now I recorded Shadowplay also for two minutes, and yet it says two minutes, five seconds. So that means for about every one minute, it's adding one and a half seconds, or two and a half seconds, sorry, my math is out the window. And where that two and a half seconds is coming from, I have no idea. So I'm going to click off of this and I'm going to scrub through it again. And you'll see G-Man will show up here. This is weird. G-Man shows up first on uh, Shadowplay instead of Fraps this time. It was the opposite for Hearthstone. And yet, this Shadowplay video ends up taking longer than Fraps in the long run. So there's some point when Fraps becomes faster than uh, Shadowplay. But the point is, like, okay, right here, I guess, yep, Fraps becomes a little bit, no, okay, Shadowplay's still quicker, but eventually Shadowplay uh, Shadow becomes slower, and that becomes a problem, because you can see here, again, I recorded both of these for two minutes, and I had a timer going, so as soon as that two minutes ended, it, uh, that's when I ended the recording, and Fraps ended right at the two minutes. 
which is when I got here and stood in front of Dr. What's-His-Face. And yet Shadow Play keeps going, and going, and going, and finally ends. So again, um, this Half-Life 1 is a little bit less easy to keep variable control, but I did my best just to show it was with multiple games, not just Hearthstone. And Hearthstone is obvious, because again, I come here, and you see Hearthstone shows up on Fraps before it even does on Shadowplay. So for some reason, Shadowplay is slower than Fraps. This is especially apparent when I'm recording. So here's a Bastion uh, recording that I've been doing. And as you can see, it's mostly fine. Here's my Audacity narration. Now for Audacity, I start talking in Audacity the second I start recording, and I stop talking the second I stop recording. So Audacity is almost always the same length as the recorded video. This helps me to keep the two in sync. And the reason I have to record with Audacity is because Fraps is extremely quiet when I try to record my microphone, but blah blah blah. Those, uh, that's another reason entirely. So normally, uh, this video for Bastion should be the same as Audacity, and yet for some reason, the NVIDIA Shadowplay recording, again, .mp4, you can see this is recorded with Shadowplay, it's longer than my Audacity recording. So the video should be 9 minutes and 13 seconds, and for some reason the video is 9 minutes and 36 seconds. So I don't know what Shadowplay is doing, but it's adding extra time to videos that just shouldn't be there. It's like it's taking time out of the plane in the universe and just throwing it into my video file. And this makes it impossible to sync up narrations. And if you're doing post-narration, if you're not talking while you're playing, then this will be fine, this won't affect you, but if you're talking while you're playing with a program like Audacity, then it's just adding time that really just shouldn't be there. And it doesn't make sense in general, because how on earth is it making Hearthstone slower than Hearthstone? So, I don't know. I mean, if someone knows the reason, if they want to put it in the comments, that'd be great, but it's for this reason I can't use NVIDIA Shadowplay, even though I really do like it, I think it's good. Uh, I will try it again later once I kick out a lot of the bugs. But for now, I'm going to have to go back to Fraps and somehow learn to deal with the massive file sizes. But hey, that's what 2 terabyte drives were invented for, right? Alright, so thanks for watching this video. If any of you are looking for a recording software, I still recommend Fraps, maybe DX Story. Um, Another good one is also Open Broadcaster, that's what I'm using right now, uh, so that works, but it doesn't have as good quality for, say, video games. And I am glad I did manage to keep this under 10 minutes, so again, Shadowplay won't work because that makes my videos too long.